Now, a quick word for the command of Naval Service Training. Good morning. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. Welcome to Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. What an exciting day. It is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest midshipman candidates from New Student Indoctrination, NSI. Thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these young adults. Your support, your encouragement, and your love shaped each to choose to serve their country. As we will witness in just a few minutes, these young women and men have been the center of transformation that has taken place over the past several days. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing their individual limits. Each learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, of dedication. They have commenced the Navy journey and are now part of our time-honored tradition of service to our nation. Each of these midshipmen will play a critical role as the next generation of leaders fulfilling our Navy and Marine Corps mission. They will soon report to their college or university where training will continue. Each will grow, each will develop, each will learn, each will experience, each will transform into their best self to lead our future force. As we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get here. Let us honor the commitment and dedication of these new midshipmen and those who guided them. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. What you are about to witness is special. What you are about to observe will move you. Why? Because your loved one has committed to their nation. Your loved one has chosen to protect and defend our values centered on freedom. I am proud to call each shipmate. So thank you. Thank you for playing a significant role in their lives. I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy this ceremony and celebrate your midshipmen. Thank you.
On behalf of the 680 Marine Corps Midshipman Candidates standing in front of you, thank you for being here with us at Naval Station's Great Lakes or streaming the event live. This ceremony is to celebrate these young women and men's first step in officer development and their future careers in the Navy or Marine Corps. Our goal at New Student Indoctrination was to embark basic military training. The proper wear of uniform, introduce military bearing, the importance of working as a team, and how to perform under pressure, and what it means to live by our core values. Further, these candidates began developing knowledge and skills related to core competencies shared by all sailors and Marines through weapons familiarization, physical fitness, watch standing, water survival, firefighting, and basic seamanship. Finally, my team worked to help each candidate find their identities as soon-to-be midshipmen and future naval officers who would be responsible for leading the same sailors and Marines who compete basic training here at Great Lakes or past the Paris Island on their way to the fleet. What they learned here is just the tip of the iceberg. These lessons will underpin the next four years of training in their NRTC units as they work towards their commission in our sea services. To all you soon to be midshipmen standing before me, I cannot begin to express how proud I am of each and every one of you. I told you on day one that this is going to be difficult, that we're going to put you through a high intensity training environment. Because you're standing here today, you have met the challenge. You have persevered, and you have matured. The relevance of every lesson you learned here will not necessarily be immediately apparent to you, but each will serve you well sometime in your journey. Your commitment, resilience, and determination are traits to be proud of, and ones you will need to navigate your university's education, the demand of an NRTC unit, and eventually, honor of leading other men and women who opt to serve our country and defend the freedoms that our citizens of this nation hold dear. You are joining a team that wants to see you succeed. Over the next four years, you will likely struggle at some point. Do not forget that the team is here to help. Be it a shipmate standing beside you, or one of your fellow midshipmen in your unit, or a member of the NRTC staff. We will support and guide you through these tough patches just as you will be expected to lend a hand to a fellow shipmate you. Our profession is a team sport, and only team players will succeed. I have faith in each of you, and wish you well in your college experience and your path to leadership in our Navy and Marine Corps. To my fellow NRTC COs and XOs seated in the dais to the left of me, these future warriors are ready to join your units and commence training. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the guest of honor, Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. Admiral Mattingly is a native of Kentucky, originally entered the U.S. Navy as an aviation anti-submarine warfare operator, and later commissioned through the Naval Academy in 1995 and earned his wings as a Naval Flight Officer in 1997. Admiral Mattingly is a veteran of the Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Force. He served as Executive Officer and then Commanding Officer of Patrol Squadron 9. He later selected for Major Command as Commander of Patrol and Reconnaissance Wing 11. Across his operational tours, he's accumulated more than 3,900 flight hours in the P-3 Orion and the P-8 Poseidon. Admiral Mattingly's overseas tours include U.S. 6th Fleet as the N-5 Security Cooperation Officer and then Flag 8 to Commander U.S. 6th Fleet, as well as 7th Fleet as the N-3 Operations Officer, Chief Staff Officer, Commander Task Force 72. Following his previous tour as Senior Military Advisor to the Secretary of the Navy, Admiral Mattingly assumed command of Naval Service Training Command in May 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, Yeah, I'm going off 
trips, so it's going to be fun. Faith, thank you so much for being here today. From I know the day out of the on is challenging, but I'm sure you're happy to be here with us. Brigadier General Stubb, thank you for your family for, for coming here, for your father, for serving in the Army National Guard, for you serving in the Army National Guard, and then your son having the confidence to, to shift all over the United States. So thank you. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. I am not going to be so proud to follow the one thing you're talking about. So to you out in front of us, wearing the cloth of our nation, this is about you today. It's about you as a team. It's about you as an individual. We're first going to recognize the folks that allowed you to be here today, and that is your family and your friends. So to the family, to the parents, to the grandparents, to the friends, to the siblings, Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to transform your person into the United States Navy, the United States Marine Corps. How did we do that? We did that through a program called Officer Development. We have a gentleman here that runs that program for me. His name is Captain Chris Adams. Chris, thank you. They are going to be ready for you to take them on board. 
They're going to be E4s, E5s. They're going to be in the middle of their career, and they're going to be looking to you to lead them. So I am comfortable with what we have done here with you. I'm satisfied that you're ready to go out into your ROTC programs and continue to lead, continue to learn, continue to win. There is no second place for being an officer in the Navy Marine Corps. You must be the best. And I challenge you to join our ranks. One day, one of you will replace me. One day, one of you will replace the Chief of Naval Operations. One day, one of you will replace the Commandant of the Marine Corps. Are you ready for that challenge? We need you to be ready. We need you to navigate through the course of your studies to be the best student possible. So when you join us in the fleet, you are ready. Family and friends and staff that have trained these mission candidates, let's give them a final round of applause.